brand new torque converter. Never ever reuse the old converter. Who knows what kind of junk's up in it. Why the transmission failed. But make sure you got plenty of slip. That's what this stuff does. Pour a little fluid in it first. Just so whatever clutch in there, it spins. It's counter, counter does its own thing. Not even sure. But just to make sure, there is lubrication in this converter so it's not a dry start. Valvoline Dex Merc, pow. This transmission came with Dex 3. So uh, that's what we're gonna give it. All right, so this is kind of high up for me to hold. I just had to drop in there. I don't want to score up anything. There's a quart of fluid in that converter. So I'm trying not to lose it all over the front of the pump and have to clean all this out again. So I guess I'm gonna try. Drop it in on somewhat of an angle. I'm guessing it'd be better than going in flat. Yeah, this ain't so bad. Convert away is, I don't know, 80 pounds or so. Just guessing. It's got a nice one to it. Yep, you make something pretty, you never see. All right. So I'm gonna carefully as I can, load this in and then spin it to lock it in. Then we're gonna go try to put it up in a truck. So I don't want these sharp edges to grab on that thrust bushing on the front side of the pump. Everything's been greased with goo. We're full of fluid. <clears throat> All right, let's load it in. There is no room for anything. And that's that. Spin it a couple times, bottomed out. Good to go. Sometimes you can smell my genius. One out of Clarkson's rule book here. So it's easy. The cart's rated for 550 pounds. The jack's rated for 450 pounds. I roll this right underneath my lift and put it up to the engine. It's perfect. I do the whole thing sitting down, actually. Okay, so we'll let this down. Just make sure it's centered on the uh, on the deck. That's what I'm trying. Nevertheless, it won't fall because it's chained up. Now the center, pick it up one more time. I can pull it. Good like that. Slightly modified this. It's not a really a plug, is it? Got rid of the extra piece of uh, cable. Right. Pretty center. Strap it down. Down, I can take these up. 
All right, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how we do it. And I can just take this and roll it right underneath the truck. It's not wobbly, it ain't even sketchy. Good at this one day. This not gonna work. Yes. Just gotta go up from there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the 4060 back in this O2 Sierra and uh, see if it works or not. So I'm pretty excited to hopefully it goes through all the gears. So I didn't paint it, I got a good feeling about it. So this has been this is the rear yoke. Been out of the truck for about three weeks and just with the moisture and air around here, it's rusted a little bit. So I'm gonna get some fine 320 paper. Put a little WD on it, polish this up a little bit. I don't want to mess up the rear seal. This will make it nice and smooth. Kids are out of school today. That was my alarm to go get my little one from uh, first grade. I'm going to wipe this off. Yep, nice and silver again, just like it's supposed to be. This rag is soaked with transmission fluid, so. So to avoid taking the whole drive shaft out front of the truck, I just undid the uh, hanger bearing and slid it out of the transmission forward. So. I've learned to glove up. It keeps your hands just from getting disgusting. They're gonna get gross, but ah. it's better than disgusting. All right. So I got my little rig up. I got my roll around cart with my uh, transmission jack on it. Um, Cart's rated for 550. The jack will lift up 450, and the transmission probably is about 250. So. We're all good as far as safety goes. Um, I got it on backwards, the angle adjust is here, but I think we can still make it work. So let's go ahead and get it up a little bit so I can slide the tail shaft into the, or the yoke into the tail shaft and get it all up inside the truck. Don't think we're going. Could just put the impact on it and run, and run it up quick. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Rub my air hose. It's right behind me. Question is, do I have enough room to get this? I'm gonna get my impact. Slide it up in here. Now I have a. Uh, and assisted transmission pretty 
pretty simple when you do it that way. So let me see if I can now line up. Tail shaft. I've done good everything else. Might as well do that too. Anything to help the steels and stop this thing from leaking or prevent it from leaking or give it a longer life. That's what we're trying to do. Maybe a little on here to help it slot in. I don't know. It's all good. A little sandpaper polished the thing right back up. So 320 and some WD. That's a wrap. But old transmission, I didn't use a whole lot of it. So this will be around for a little bit. It was like uh, 18 bucks off of eBay. Easy enough. Now to straighten the cart back out and jack it all the way the rest of the way up. Making sure vital stuff is out of the way. All right. It's pretty straight. On our way up, let's go. Yeah, it's a whole lot easier. It's kind of what I was thinking the whole time. I'm like, dude, I got this on sale for a hundred bucks. That's the magic number. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars. We're clear still. All right, so to give me the clearance I need, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the hanger bearing up to where it belongs. I always put my nuts into the frame rail to, so I don't have to look for where to go. This just kind of goes up here. I'm gonna loosely install it so it can slide around if it has to. I'll tighten it down at the end. <clears throat> That'll work. Now I can keep going up with this transmission. All right, let's go up with it some more. close. I need to bring it back over. There we go. That's pretty. Past all that, torque converter still bottomed out. Let's see what we're on now. Go. Just about got it stabbed. A little bit more than that. Oh, this is beautiful. It's going right in there. Oh man, my jack's maxed out. I gotta let the truck down. One click. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, my lift will go up just high enough. That, yeah, one notch down and my pin will fall into place. Oh. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about. 
I'm a little light here. One, two, three. There we go. Alright, so the pin is here. That's the pin right there. And the hole it lines up in is right here. So I got like two inches. And uh I'm maxed out on my lift, so I gotta let my my big lift down on the sides here. Oh man, all right, cool. Let's try this one more time. All right, so I got my screw jacks in the way and I got plenty of clearance and room to let this thing down one notch and then try to put it back up. So let's, see, let's plug the lift in, Pull all the parts from the RCSB. My kid's so excited about the truck. All right, just got to get rid of this one, which was the original plan. And that's the afterthought. So let's go up a little bit. All right, we'll go ahead and pull the locks. There's one. There's my 30 footer. I'm gonna get on that in a little bit. Put triples on the back. <coughs> Pull this lock. There's my 1970 cutlass. I'm gonna get on that too. And then I'm gonna let the screw jack down. Uh, locks are clicked. Let's go down real slow. Try to control this. There we go. Right, nice and controlled drop. Now, I think that's enough where I can jack it up. Yeah, it's on this one. But not there. All right. So go up until you hear it click. That's it. Let it down. That's sitting on the locks. It's not sitting on the hydraulics. I can come back and put a little screw jack action to it so it doesn't want to rock. Get this thing put in place. There you go, plenty high now. I'll pull it to me a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're close now. I smell my genius. All right, we are right about where we need to be to put bolts in it. Let's see if I can see where we're at. Actually needs to come down just a tick and it'll fall right in place. Flip the switch, just hit it just a little bit. It's a little quick. Get that out of here and we'll uh, use the hand ratchet to fine tune. It's just perfect. Just right to be wrong. I can get it in and out, but not much. And see, I can maybe bend that plastic out. Come on, right, there it is. All right, down here, grab my half inch ratchet ratchet. And this way I can slowly do what I gotta do with it. Man, I don't gotta do much. It looks like it's in place right now. Okay. 
Yeah, it's pegged. Cool. Put some bolts in it. And a 15 millimeter deep. Hey, a 15 millimeter deep, little air ratchet. Let's get this thing sandwiched in. Too easy, bro. Pop this one in. Get the other side locked in. Always start them finger tight. Now we can do it ain't stripped. Get this one clipped in. Come on, air hoops. That's right. All right, well, that's about as far as I wanted to get with it. Um, all the bolts are in. It's all I really needed to show you. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the ones on the top because you really can't get a camera in there to see what the hell you're doing. And then uh, hook up all the lines. We've got these lines here. They go into the designated spots. And then I got my plug. Tail shaft's already hooked up. Speed sensor. And then... Uh, now, of course, put the starter and all that back in this cavity. Roll over here. Extension cord, got my roll around. And then I got O2 sensors for the exhaust that all comes through here and uh, the shifter. And then, uh, yeah. Lower it down off this lift, see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this hooked up, save you the uh, agony, like the rebuild of the transmission. If, if you watch it, thank you. Uh, if you fast forwarded, I understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish hooking all this stuff up. That is it. Right. All right, so we got the whole bottom end all tightened up. Everything's back in. O2 sensors on the exhaust, whole exhaust. Had to re-tap the uh, manifold bolts, put new nuts on them. They were all stripped out. Uh, everything's hooked back up. No drips yet. There's no fluid in it yet, but there's no drips yet. Whole drive line's ready to go. And uh, Get it down off the lift, put some fluid in it, and cross your fingers. See what happens. All right. Yo, thanks Yo. for checking out the build of the 4L60. We're finally done with it. I'm so excited about that because now I can get to the next one. So I got three of these three build. I'm probably not going to do all of them on camera. I'll do some here and there. Uh, this was a bit of a chore for the first one. I'll understand the second one better and the third one even better. So the book that I had got, the ATSG manual, was more of like a refresher for people that know what the hell they're doing. For a first time, there's got to be a better manual than that because the literature doesn't really coincide with the uh, breakdown of the parts and where they need to go. And I found myself flipping back and forth through that book more than actually getting anything done. So to me probably a day to bust it all down carefully and try to like remember where it's all going. Also recording everything takes a whole lot more time than uh, just busting it apart and putting it back together. <clears throat> that being said, three weeks later, here we are putting it back under the truck, put it all up, take it for a ride and hopefully it does what it's supposed to do. I didn't paint it. So that's already, you know, a win on my side because usually you make it pretty and they don't work at all. We just passed 300 subscribers. If we can make it past a thousand, that would be amazing. The end goal is a thousand though. We have many more things to come. We can also go check out the playlist on the channel. We have a bunch of transmissions we have done. We have the cool lowered 05 Suburban. We have regular cab, short bed, 2000 Silverado, a buddy Charles. That's your drift truck, bro. That's DK, Drift Kid. Yeah, Drift Kid. Drift Kid. That's, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna put Drift Kid down the door. Uh, I'm also building an 01 Silverado pre-runner. If you haven't realized this, if you like the GMT 800s, 
you've stumbled across the right channel because we got a 2000, a 2001, a 2005, a 2006, and there's going to be more after that. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's the best one they ever made. So it's right before the electronics got really stupid, but still um, easy to work on. So hit that follow button, like, subscribe, stay tuned. Do all the stuff, appreciate you. We're gonna do a, a long upload every Friday and do some shorts here and there in the middle of the week. I got lots of cruising the coast footage um, on a playlist. Just go to my channel and check out the playlist and get caught up, y'all. Appreciate it. Check out Modified next week. See you next time.